Welcome back, everybody. Time right now is 6.34. She joins us for our monthly visit from the Community Counseling Center. It's Martha Allen. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning to you. Yes. We're talking about the rising numbers of Alzheimer's, right? And it's Alzheimer's Awareness Month. It is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. So, you know, we are... We have to be aware that there is hope and there's a lot of research. Like you mentioned, you were telling me all the facts this morning. Well, Bill Gates, apparently, I believe it's $50 million. He's donating for research and a cure. Cross That's our incredible. fingers because the numbers are going up. He put more and more people, right? Yes, the numbers are rising where strokes, HIV, <laughs> um, different heart diseases and um, different cancers are going down, the numbers with Alzheimer's are going up, sadly. Okay. That's, that stinks. What are you guys doing? Well, I just want people to understand that with dementia, you know, Alzheimer's is a form of dementia. It's the, it's the most progressive and most growing form of dementia. And, um, you know, things that we need to do to be preventative in our lives, you know, live healthy, exercise, reduce our stress, all the things that I think would help us survive anything. Mm -hmm. um, but also, when your family members start struggling, what to do and how to seek help. Okay. What can you do? I mean, uh, all of us at this point in our lives, I, I would bet everybody watching knows somebody or perhaps, perhaps it's even a, a close family member is being affected. Yes, and what Alzheimer's does, different from other dementias, is Alzheimer's cells start dying, fluid areas in the brain get larger, and um, so the, the blood flow is different and it starts reducing our ability to create new memories. Is there any information or research uh, that's being done that suggests that w we could be doing this, that, and the other thing to help at least stave it off? Um, there are some medications out now that um, slow the onset or the, the speed at which Alzheimer's affects our brains. Um, but, you know, thank goodness for people that are investing their fortunes in mm -hmm. this disease for a cure. Um, but other than that, you know, they really just tell you to, you know, live healthy, uh, reduce your blood pressure, mm -hmm. exercise. And, you know, we know that a lot of people exercise their brains. It isn't a muscle, then we tend to forget it. Mm -hmm. And many people, as we um, age and retire and things like that, we don't use our brain as often. So they encourage crossword puzzles and different things for memory mm -hmm. to always be exercising your biggest muscle in mm -hmm. your body. There is a lot of apps out there that are designed specifically for that fit brains, the muscle learn a new language, Duolingo. Exactly. Continuously challenge yourself so that you're you're forming new memories and keeping all those circuits open. Yeah. Also important when you're when you're looking at um, doing new things, it's it's good to show your kids that you continue to progress and it's a, you're a good role model, right? That's exactly right. Well, I think in every day we should be continuing to learn and that's a part of a healthy brain. Um, so Alzheimer's Awareness Month is this month. You can always reach out to us at Community Counseling Services. We do have day programs for senior adults. Um, they are, you know, relate to dementia, less Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's has a different plan of care. But we're always here and supportive of the community and different things going on with our brains. Yeah, it's a always a pleasure to see you. Thanks. I'd like to see you in here every day. It's early, Steve. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> but happy right. Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and just we're thankful that there is hope. That's right. Thanks so much.